need an update on the assault victim that's brought into the OR? Robert Ford? Oh, yeah, that's the one. We just got word on him. He's out of surgery, but his condition's still critical. Come on in. Hey. Hey. I just, I came by to say... I missed you. I miss you, too. of the missing you part. But we need to talk. What's on your mind? <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you coming to the airport to stop me from leaving the country. That's admitting that we both have feelings for each other. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of been radio silence since then. You know, not a call or text. I don't know how to text. And I know, I know you're not avoiding me. You're not avoiding me, right? You really have to ask me that? I know, I know. I, I'm just having a lot of trouble believing that this is real. What happened at the airport was real. A whole lot changed last night. Yeah. Brody told me. He did. What? You shouldn't have told me about Jessica getting her memory back? Oh, no. No, no, I mean, it's, it's not like it's a big secret or anything. It's just that I don't think that any of the other family knew. Um, so I guess I was just surprised, surprised that you, you knew. Well, I guess he was happy. He couldn't keep it to himself. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really great news. You know, get my sister back. Especially after all of these months of her treating me like a stranger. You're good, Eugene. What? Steering the subject on DeBrody and Jessica instead of you and me. Marty moved out. She did. This morning. You know that I never, never wanted to hurt anyone. Neither did I. So... You, we've admitted how we feel about each other, so... You're free, I'm free. What happens now? I know we need to talk. But this isn't the time or the place. No, it is not. But maybe we could, um... <laughs> Come in. Uh, we just brought in Marco Rivera. Oh, okay. Uh, can you put him in interview room one? Yeah, we're gonna have company. Ted Elgato. I guess the kid's lawyered up. Before I even got there. All right, I'll have a talk with him. Yeah, they're right outside. Yeah? Can you give me one minute? Yeah. Sure? Yeah. All right. We need to finish this conversation that we started this morning about what happened between us last night. You mean the fact that we slept together? Yeah. What are we going to do about it? We didn't do anything wrong. We were both free agents last night. Technically, you know, but that doesn't stop me from feeling like crap. No kidding. You feel like you betrayed Jessica? You do too. John, we're just finding our way back to each other and... You know, I don't, I don't feel like starting this with some huge secret between us. I don't want to keep a secret from Jessica either, but telling her might not be the best idea. Because of her memory? Well, she's just putting herself back together. I don't know how much more stress she can take right now. Yeah, but you're the one who told her about Mitch, and you, you were worried that you were going to hurt her, but that may have been the thing that made her recover her memory. Yeah, yeah, even if that's true, that's not the same thing as telling her I got toasted and slept with her sister. Look, it's not pretty. And I'm not proud of it, and I'm, I'm sure that you're not either, but that is what happened. 
You know, ever since what happened in Iraq, I, I swore I wanted to face the truth. Well, you all have to. I mean, because I did. I got John back. I love him, and the truth is so important to him. And I hope this case gets solved as quickly as possible. So do I. <laughs> I want the DNA test on those sneakers as soon as possible. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I got a lot going on here right now. Yeah, it looks like you're deep in the pocket. And if I know you, you probably haven't eaten today. I, uh, no, I, I grabbed something this morning. Mm-hmm. I'll get out of your hair. And we can talk about us some other time, you know? Even though the idea scares me. scares you? Well, you know, we've tried this before, and it didn't work. Well, maybe we'll just have to try a little harder this time. Yeah. And, um, probably still not going to be any good at, you know, talking about the future. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I don't expect you to know what happens next. I'm going with me to Bo and Nora's wedding. You will not be alone.